Hello friends, in this episode, Roots and Branches, our special guest is El Olivo Millenario, the 1,000-year-old olive tree. This old beauty was planted back when the Moors ruled Spain, and I wish I could understand tree talk because I bet this one has a lot of great stories to tell. Alas, I'll be telling all the tales today. I'm starting with an old song from my very first CD, What's Your Whiskey Baby? It's called She Prayed. Unlike a tree, I haven't been a particularly rooted creature, <laughs> and although moving and traveling have been full of amazing moments, it also means leaving people behind. I wrote this song while camping with my old dog Fred in a beautiful spot in Kananaskis country in Canada, while thinking about a dear person that I was missing. And speaking of dear people that are missed, the guitar that I'm playing in these sessions was my mother's. She told me that she used to play it when I was in her belly. Um, Yvonne Marie Leblanc is no longer walking the earth, but I feel like she's never very far away, especially when I play this guitar. <laughs> Just is, and she prays 
Yeah, she brought me here to understand this. Ah. Yeah, she brought me here. For this next song, I wanted to write about a situation where I had seen a young boy being bullied by a group of other children. The poor little guy didn't even have support from the teacher responsible for the kids. Upon speaking with her, I was told that the boy was just a troublemaker and shouldn't even be on the trip because his parents didn't pay for it. One of the things that I love about songwriting is that it gives me a chance to work things out or at least explore them deeper. As someone that was bullied myself, I remember the feelings of surprise and confusion when it first happened, then the sadness at the injustice of it when it kept happening, and then anger, <laughs> and wishing that I could be more powerful so I could teach those jerks a lesson. Heads would roll, they'd be sorry. Luckily, my wish for superpowers so I could rain down my retribution were never granted, but I imagine that that little boy was probably feeling similar things. So my songwriter self flipped through the memories of myths and monsters and stopped at Fenrir, the giant wolf from Norse mythology that helped to bring about the end of the world by swallowing the sun and killing the great god Odin. It seemed to me that in the beginning of that tale, Fenrir was a relatively normal giant wolf pup, not an evil monster beast. But since one of his parents was Loki, the trickster, everyone decided that young Fenrir should be locked up. This next song begins with the day that Fenrir was bound, explores his confusion, disappointment, and yes, eventual rage. I consider it a sort of warning that perhaps there aren't as many monsters in the world as we think, that they're not born, but they grow out of how we treat each other. After Fenrir helped to destroy everything, Ragnarok, there was a new beginning which grew out of the world tree, the Yggdrasil, a giant ash. I picture that giant ash tree to have a similar feel to this gnarly old olive tree. So here we are. This is the binding of Fenrir. <coughs> All the folks had gathered to see what was in store. Another test of my strength, a new chain had been forged. But something in its shimmer made me sense a trap. A strange sort of shiver crept up my back. It was roots of stone and step of a cat. Breath of fish, strange things like that. I said I won't fight that. There's something tricky here. I won't fight that. Let me be very clear. I won't fight that. Won't step into this one alone. I'm needing one brave act. That's all I'm asking here, just one brave act. I need a volunteer to be a sort of guarantee. Place your hand here, please. Oh, 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 oh. to offer was my trusted friend from him the only nourishment i'd been given 
but his step was heavy and his touch was light his eye unsteady and he reeked of fright the deal was sealed the fed placed and as i feared this chain won't break but no i won't bite down resist a little longer won't bite back but still I wonder what sort of wolf should I be The one who betrays me Oh, 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 oh Locked me up in a desolate place. His hand in my stomach, their sword in my face. And as I howled and cursed them, a river formed from my spit. It was expectation, and I would deliver it. They prophesied that I would bring death and calamity. They were killed by what they couldn't see, by their own deeds, through their mistreatment of me. So, a word of advice. If you want to keep your monsters at bay, don't school them with the cruelty that they'll feel compelled to repay. Someday a great poet will say, all that lives is holy. What was done to and through me, nothing but a story. I said I won't bite down I said I won't bite back I said I won't But here a giant and my father a trickster but I wasn't raised by them not that nature wish you wouldn't paint me with the same old brush I didn't even care for my siblings much my brother was a snake my sister a hell cap of blood is thicker than water you'd prove that my brother was a snake my sister a hell cap of blood is thicker than water you'd prove that that I won't fight that I won't bite, I won't bite, I won't bite. <laughs> this next song was inspired by Kurdish poet and scholar Cholman Hardy. In particular, her two poems, My Mother's Kitchen and Two Pages. You can learn a bit more about Choman as well as these poems through her website. Uh, also, poetryarchive.org has some recordings of her giving a brief description of the poems and also reciting them. The links I'm going to put in the description. I can't even imagine what Choman Hardy has gone through and continues to go through in her journey as a Kurdish woman. So I was apprehensive to write this song, but 
when I sent it to her, she was so gracious and so kind, and she gave me her full support and encouragement. What a woman. <laughs> Thank you, Choman, for all you do, and this is Civilized Sadness. from the sky First it smelled like sweet apples First it smelled a lottery it favors the quick memory is elusive runs away trees 